The Badeau Code, invented by Émile Badeau, is a character set predating Ebsidic and ASCII. It was the predecessor to the International Telegraph Alphabet No. 2 ITA2, the teleprinter code in use until the advent of ASCII. Each character in the alphabet is represented by a series of five bits, sent over a communication channel such as a telegraph wire or a radio signal. The symbol rate measurement is known as BU, and is derived from the same name. History Badeau Code ITA1. Technically, five-bit codes began in the 17th century, when Francis Bacon developed the cipher now called Bacon cipher. The cipher was not designed for machine telecommunications it was instead a method of encrypting a hidden message into another and, although in theory it could be adapted to that purpose, it only covered 24 of the 26 letters of the English alphabet two sets of letters, I, J and U, V, were expressed with the same code and contained no punctuation, spaces, numbers or control characters, rendering it of little use. Badeau invented his original code in 1870 and patented it in 1874. It was a five-bit code, with equal on and off intervals, which allowed for transmission of the Roman alphabet, and included punctuation and control signals. It was based on an earlier code developed by Carl Friedrich Gauss and Wilhelm Weber in 1834. It was a gray code when vowels and consonants are sorted in their alphabetical order. Nonetheless, the code by itself was not patented only the machine because French patent law does not allow concepts to be patented. Badeau's original code was adapted to be sent from a manual keyboard, and no teleprinter equipment was ever constructed that used it in its original form. The code was entered on a keyboard which had just five piano-type keys and was operated using two fingers of the left hand and three fingers of the right hand. Once the keys had been pressed, they were locked down until mechanical contacts in a distributor unit passed over the sector connected to that particular keyboard, when the keyboard was unlocked ready for the next character to be entered, with an audible click known as the cadence signal to warn the operator. Operators had to maintain a steady rhythm, and the usual speed of operation was 30 words per minute. The table shows the allocation of the Badeau code which was employed in the British Post Office for Continental and Inland Services. A number of characters in the Continental Code are replaced by fractionals in the Inland Code. Code elements 1, 2 and 3 are transmitted by keys 1, 2 and 3, and these are operated by the first three fingers of the right hand. Code elements 4 and 5 are transmitted by keys 4 and 5, and these are operated by the first two fingers of the left hand. Badeau's code became known as the International Telegraph Alphabet No. 1 ITA1. It is no longer used. Topic. Murray Code In 1901, Badeau's code was modified by Donald Murray 1865 prompted by his development of a typewriter-like keyboard. The Murray system employed an intermediate step, a keyboard perforator, which allowed an operator to punch a paper tape, and a tape transmitter for sending the message from the punch tape. At the receiving end of the line, a printing mechanism would print on a paper tape, and or a reperforator could be used to make a perforated copy of the message. As there was no longer a connection between the operator's hand movement and the bits transmitted, there was no concern about arranging the code to minimize operator fatigue, and instead Murray designed the code to minimize wear on the machinery, assigning the code combinations with the fewest punched holes to the most frequently used characters. For example, the one whole letters are E and T, the ten two whole letters are A O I N S H R D L Z, very similar to the Etawan Shurd Lu order used in linotype machines. Ten more letters have three holes, and the four whole letters are VXKQ. The Murray Code also introduced what became known as format effectors or control characters, the CR carriage return and LF line feed codes. A few of Badeau's codes moved to the positions where they have stayed ever since, the null or blank and the del code. Null, blank was used as an idle code for when no messages were being sent, but the same code was used to encode the space separation between words. Sequences of del codes fully punched columns were used at start or end of messages or between them, allowing easy separation of distinct messages. Bell codes could be inserted in those sequences to signal to the remote operator that a new message was coming or that transmission of a message was terminated. 
Early British Creed machines used the Murray system. Topic: <laughs> Western Union. Murray's code was adopted by Western Union which used it until the 1950s, with a few changes that consisted of omitting some characters and adding more control codes. An explicit SPC space character was introduced, in place of the blank, null, and a new bell code rang a bell or otherwise produced an audible signal at the receiver. Additionally, the WRU or, Who are you? code was introduced, which caused a receiving machine to send an identification stream back to the sender. Topic. ITA2 In 1924, the CCITT introduced the International Telegraph Alphabet No. 2 ITA2 code as an international standard, which was based on the Western Union code with some minor changes. The U.S. standardized on a version of ITA-2 called the American Teletypewriter Code which was the basis for 5-bit teletypewriter codes until the debut of 7-bit ASCII in 1963. Some code points marked blue in the table were reserved for national-specific usage. The code position assigned to null was in fact used only for the idle state of teleprinters. During long periods of idle time, the impulse rate was not synchronized between both devices which could even be powered off or not permanently interconnected on commuted phone lines. To start a message it was first necessary to calibrate the impulse rate a sequence of regularly timed mark. Pulses one by group of five pulses, which could also be detected by simple passive electronic devices to turn on the teleprinter. This series of pulse was generating series of erasure, delete and also initializing the receiver state to the letter's shift mode. However the first pulse could be lost, so this power on procedure could then be terminated by a single null immediately followed by an erasure, delete character. To preserve the synchronization between devices, the null code could not be used arbitrarily in the middle of messages this was an improvement to the initial Bado system where spaces were not explicitly differentiated, so it was difficult to maintain the pulse counters for repeating spaces on teleprinters. But it was then possible to resynchronize devices at any time by sending a null in the middle of a message immediately followed by an erasure, delete, ls control if followed by a letter, or by a fs control if followed by a figure. Sending null controls also did not cause the paper band to advance to the next row as nothing was punched, so this saved precious lengths of punchable paper band. On the opposite the erasure, delete, ls control code was always punched and always shifted to the initial letters mode. According to some sources, the null code point was reserved for country internal usage only. The shift to letters code LS is also usable as a way to cancel, delete text from a punch tape after it has been read, allowing a safe destruction of the message before recycling the punched band. For that function, it also plays the same role of filler as the delete code in ASCII and also in other 7-bit or 8-bit encodings, including EBCDIC for punched cards. Once codes for a fragment text has been replaced by arbitrary number of LS codes, what follows is still preserved and decodable. It can also be used as an initiator to make sure that the decoding of the first code will not give a digit or another symbol from the figure's page because the null code may be arbitrarily inserted near the end of a punch band or at start of it, and has to be ignored, whereas the space code is significant in text. The cells marked as reserved for extensions using the LS code again from the letter's shift page, just after a first LS code to shift from the figure's page has been defined to shift into a new mode. In this new mode, the letter's page are containing lowercase letters only, but a third page of codes is still accessible for the uppercase letters, either temporarily for a single letter and code LS before that letter, may be locked with FS plus LS for an unlimited number of capital letters or digits and then unlocked to return to lowercase mode with a single LS. The cell marked as reserved is also usable using the FS code from the figures shift page to switch the page of figures which normally contains digits and national lowercase letters or symbols to a fourth page where national letters are uppercased and other symbols may be encoded. ITA2 is still used in telecommunications devices for the deaf TDD, telex, and some amateur radio applications, such as radio teletype RTTY. ITA2 is also used in Enhanced Broadcast Solution an early 21st century financial protocol specified by Deutsche Börse to reduce the character encoding footprint. Topic. Nomenclature 
Nearly all 20th century teleprinter equipment used Western Union's code, ITA2, or variants thereof. Radio amateurs casually call ITA2 and variants, Bordeaux, incorrectly, and even the American Radio Relay League's amateur radio handbook does so, though in more recent editions the tables of codes correctly identifies it as ITA2. Topic. Character set Topic. Original Bado variants Topic. Original Bado, domestic UK Letter number punctuation symbol other undefined Topic. Original Bado, continental European Letter number punctuation symbol other undefined Topic. Original Bado, Ida 1 Letter number punctuation symbol other undefined Topic. Bado Murray variants Topic. Murray code Topic. Ida 2 and USTTY Letter number punctuation symbol other undefined Topic. Details Note, this table presumes the space called 1 by Bado and Murray is rightmost, and least significant. The way the transmitted bits were packed into larger codes varied by manufacturer. The most common solution allocates the bits from the least significant bit towards the most significant bit leaving the three most significant bits of a byte unused. In ITA2, characters are expressed using five bits. ITA2 uses two code subsets, the letter shift, LTRS, and the figure shift, figs. The figs character 11011 signals that the following characters are to be interpreted as being in the figs set, until this is reset by the LTRS 11111 character. In use, the LTRS or figs shift key is pressed and released, transmitting the corresponding shift character to the other machine. The desired letters or figures characters are then typed. Unlike a typewriter or modern computer keyboard, the shift key isn't kept depressed whilst the corresponding characters are typed. Enquiry will trigger the other machine's answer back. It means, Who are you? CR is carriage return, LF is line feed, Bell is the bell character which rang a small bell, often used to alert operators to an incoming message, SP is space, and NUL is the null character. Blank tape. Note, the binary conversions of the code points are often shown in reverse order, depending on presumably from which side one views the paper tape. Note further that the control Characters were chosen so that they were either symmetric or in useful pairs so that inserting a tape upside down did not result in problems for the equipment and the resulting printout could be deciphered. Thus figs 11,011, LTRS 11,111 and space 00100 are invariant, while CR 00010 and LF 01000, generally used as a pair, are treated the same regardless of order by page printers. LTRS could also be used to overpunch characters to be deleted on a paper tape much like Dell in 7-bit ASCII. The sequence RYRYRY is often used in test messages, and at the start of every transmission. Since R is 01010 and Y is 10101, the sequence exercises much of a teleprinter's mechanical components at maximum stress. Also, at one time, fine-tuning of the receiver was done using two colored lights, one for each tone. RYRYRY produced 01010101, which made the lights glow with equal brightness when the tuning was correct. This tuning sequence is only useful when ITA2 is used with two-tone FSK modulation, such as is commonly seen in radio teletype RTTY usage. U.S. implementations of Bado code may differ in the addition of a few characters, such as hash, and on the figs layer. The Russian version of Bado code MTK2 used three shift modes. The Cyrillic letter mode was activated by the character 00000. 
Because of the larger number of characters in the Cyrillic alphabet, the characters, and, pound were omitted and replaced by Cyrillics, and bell has the same code as Cyrillic letter U, the Cyrillic letters, and E are omitted, and C is merged with the numeral 4. Topic see also Asynchronous serial communication List of computer character sets Morse code prosigns for Morse code serial communication Topic Footnotes Topic References Topic Further reading Copeland, B. Jack, ed. 2006. Colossus, The Secrets of Bletchley Park's Codebreaking Computers. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-284055-4. Hobbs, Alan G. NADCOMM Papers and Writings, Five Unit Codes. Retrieved 10 February 2017. Jennings, Tom. 2016. An Annotated History of Some Character Codes, Bado's Code. Retrieved 20 January 2018. MTK2 Code Table Bado, Murray, ITA2, ITA5, etc. Jean Maurice Emile Bado. Archived from the original on 13 September 2009. Online text ITA2 converter includes paper tape view a breakdown of the patent for Bado's first device this article is based on material taken from the free online dictionary of computing prior to the 1st of November 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL version 1.3 or later <laughs>